Taito has some of my favorite voice clips of all time. There's just so many golden phrases from their late 80s and 90s games. Take Ninja Wars, for example. Because the Ninja Warriors are the immortal murder machines. Okay, for real. How could you find a better combination of words that's cooler than this? And it's kind of obvious that they got the idea for these machines from the Terminator, but man, that's just sick. However, if you're new to Taito game material and voices, don't get your hopes up too high. That's because due to the language barrier and spotty translations, a lot of their games ended up with some pretty hilarious mistranslations like this, which I'll read in Taito style from the game we're looking at today called Dead Connection. Men making a stand against a gigantic crime. <laughs> so remember, these guys are only making a stand against this one particular gigantic crime. Anything else? And you're on your own. But with the game Dead Connection, Taito captured some of the vibes from a couple of Oscar-winning movies. And by captured, I mean completely ripped it off. For instance, here's Marlon Brando, aka Nerosia, in his role as the Godfather in video game form. And right under him, you see the subtitle, Evil Power Steals On. What the hell does that mean? Who knows? But it's Taito. As well, we have a knockoff of Kevin Costner's role in The Untouchables as James, with his Oscar honorable mention performance. Don't die, Andy. Please, open your eyes. Okay, now Andy is a guy. All right, now that we have that established, there's this one instance where James witnesses his woman, Christine, gunned down by one of Nerosia's men that loves to shoot pretty women and also have a good smoke. And afterwards, fake Kevin Costner screams, Christine! Christine! Wow, completely touching. Makes me want to not cry just as much as I didn't cry for Andy, who, of course, is just a guy. James also gives a stunning performance that states what he'll do to take down Nerozia and his endless army of 1950s bad guy clones. Nerozia, I'll chase you to hell and back. I can't lie. I actually kind of like the growl and tone James has when he delivers this line. The actor really committed to the anger James must have had after seeing his woman turn into human perforation. <laughs> And speaking of hell, they sure do curse a lot in this game during the time where something like the word damn was akin to watching an X-rated movie. Damn it! Go to hell. You can regret it in hell. Jeez, murdering and potty mouth? The 50s were a dangerous time. I mean, really. James and his crew are, what are they anyway? Detectives? Insurance salesmen? I don't know. I just know they shoot first and ask questions why they shoot. Talk if you don't want to die. That's some pretty threatening stuff. Or we have this line where James sounds like a parent trying to feed a kid Brussels sprouts. Eat this as well. However, eh, the bad guys don't sound as threatening a lot of the time due to whatever odd slow down effect that's on their voices. Sleep with the angels, pretty boy. <laughs> I would have just blasted him in the length of time that it took for him to actually say that. Another weird thing, or translation barrier, is this phrase right here, which I'm sure we'll see more of in future episodes. Kill you. Now that, that's always bugged me since I was a kid. <laughs> it's such a weird phrase. If someone came to me and said that, I'd probably freeze in confusion instead of fear. I mean, we actually already have a phrase for this, and it goes like this. Die. But someone somewhere thought that this was just the bee's knees and it caught on like wildfire. But whatever. After James and his crew of colorful trench coat executioners murder everyone in the city three times over, he finally says, Our revenge is complete. I guess so, because three-fourths of the population are already dead. So first off, instead of revenge, he should have said slaughter. And second, the end, spoiler alert, has Andy, you know, the guy... <laughs> Andy's fiance comes and shoots Nrozia in the back because in Dead Connection, revenge is a dish best served through the barrel of a 9mm with really cute heels. With all that being said though, Dead Connection is actually a really, really fun game. Honestly, it's just cool to mow down tons of people in parks, dining halls, and dinner parties. Anyway, if you get a chance, try out Dead Connection and do your part in avenging Christine's bits and pieces. And know that if you hear James say this, We came to help you. 
he is completely not coming to help you. Unless your version of help is dying from multiple handguns. 